hello 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 welcome back to the big fat psychic channel i'm so pleased to be reading again for you today okay okay we're going to uh, look at uh, harry 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 okay um right let's get into it then so uh how how is harry feeling uh, about the loss of uh, the home office case Put it there. Uh, how is he feeling? Well, he's not uh, exactly. Oh, he's not exactly sleeping well. Okay, so he's uh, he's he's up late, uh, and then because he's sleeping late. Okay, so now he's it's kind of burning the the candle at uh, both ends. The enormity of the situation, you know, he's out there and he's on his own. Uh, and he knows now that, you know, all that is required is to accept uh, and make peace. And obviously, uh, in this card, it's a card where you actually are able to see your faults in things and how, you know, the impact you've had as well. Uh, because it's a card of, like, you have to forgive yourself. So, you know, forgive yourself for, for hating somebody or forgive yourself for hating somebody. You know, he's going to have to do that. It's really like a massive setback uh, as well for him. You know, when uh, all the trappings of uh, royalty uh, fade away uh, and become no more, you just know Megan is going to know financially she would be better off uh, divorcing him uh, than anything else. I mean, it must be humiliating. Let's have a look. You know, how would I say, so the car chase, all the burglaries, the uh, uh, guy in a parked car at a rest at Montecito, you know, uh, all, all these uh, things that they've scammed, okay, and made up, uh, and they have, I don't really believe any of them have been genuine at all, not the, not the bigger the lie, isn't it? So, you know, it's done all that. Uh, and uh, wrote in the book spare to trigger the Taliban uh, and everything else, right? So it's all been a big con, a long con uh, that we saw right at the beginning. You know, how does he feel now uh, that he's done all that and he knows it's going to come to nothing? So let's have a look. Someone thinks uh, fondly of him. Oh, he definitely did it for uh, attention. He, on each time uh, he was doing something, he found people to believe him, you know, uh, to believe him. So he still thinks that we believe uh, everything, okay, uh, that the majority of the world believes that the car chase was real, that the, uh, you know, uh, the stalker or the uh, burglar or the car sitter you know uh he, he he thinks that we believe that you know that that's what we see does harry now believe that it was uh all for nothing then because it didn't really seem right that answer Yeah, you see, all the times I said Megan can't come because of security, that the children can't come for security, that Megan and the children won't ever be setting foot on UK soil uh, unless they have security. And not the one that, you know, was good enough by the king and already in place uh, by the Home Office. No, no, no. She wanted the IPP status. It's like, what more can I do? You know, what more could I have done, Megan? What more could we have done, Megan, to, to make out that we was uh, a risk? But that risk wasn't consistent. And it was also uh, brought on uh, by themselves, you know, uh, sitting in the garden, uh, shouting out for Baden, uh, writing in a book about, uh, you know, how many people, uh, chess pieces uh, he moved. 
um you, you know all, all those things it's all for nothing you idiot you've done all that and coped with stress for nothing because when you basically uh, are lying and you are um so say like the car chase or like the stalker or the burglar and someone going in the garden and everything else they have to pretend to feel like a victim now megan is really good at it obviously you know uh, it was it uh, one tear left eye uh but harry's not so uh good at it and it's like i think megan knows that so it has to be some kind of uh real some kind of uh real i don't know it's just a, a dick in say but yeah overwhelming fears of uh despair uh you know it, it, it for him it will feel like his uh life is snowballing and being a car bosh and and you know he can't have what he wants and he can't have it the way he wants and he can't have that dream with all the security and the money and not having to do anything uh, he wants all that, but the universe is actually shaping him uh, by taking away uh, that, uh, what is it, the, the security uh, thing, because it will force Harry into a different action, especially if he's paying uh, for that, uh, then he's not going to be, uh, you know, uh, paying for too much damage and hit pieces on everywhere else you think about it. What, a couple of million a year? Uh, that would have been used for uh, promoting them and slagging off uh, the royals. Well, if that money's going to security, then he can't afford to do that anymore, you know, and they'll have to look for new ways. You will see life, uh, you know, the universe uh, carve things out when you're not on the right path and you know it as well. When you've got that doubt uh, and you go long enough and the universe gives you a chance, you know, to whether it be a job you don't like, uh, to a relationship, you know, they will remove them. So you can continue on your path, but the mu and it's traumatic when they do that because they take the bloke, he might have cheated or he might just leave or he went got on and he's gone. Uh, the job, you could get sacked or, you know, uh, be on sick because it makes you feel so ill. You know, there's all kinds of uh, ramifications there, uh, but the universe is putting him on a, a trajectory so to make his life better Um not worse and it all depends on how harry is seeing it and right now <laughs> he's not seeing that uh, some of these things that are happening uh to shape him for the greater good he needs to get back on that path uh, and he needs to do it as willingly as possible how's megan feel about not getting the security Well, she thinks it's great news she thinks it's great news no way this isn't megan this is not uh megan so is megan gonna come out with uh loads of pr maybe uh he, oh i'm i just feel like busy 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 great news so she's waiting for great news how does she feel uh don't say uh, you know uh charles has uh offered to pay I think he has. Has King Charles offered to pay for uh, Harry's security? Oh, I knew it. Mm, might not be that then. Withdraw. So he's sitting this one out. So Charles maybe doesn't want to get involved. We already know that in the UK he will get the protection uh, when he comes. Harry doesn't like authority. You know, he didn't like it when he was in the army. He doesn't like the authority in the hierarchy of uh, the, the royal family. Uh, he doesn't... Uh, he's gone against his dad as well. He doesn't listen to his dad, who is authority, uh, just as a father, you know. Uh, his bosses, uh, Netflix and uh, hula hoops and bloody what else they, they've done he doesn't like their authority neither and then there's a book spare with the ghostwriter remember how the ghostwriter you know set out a sad and said uh he, he wanted more stuff in you know he didn't like uh you know he had rows uh with uh the ghostwriter of his uh book 
so it definitely doesn't like authority at all it doesn't like being told what to do the home office or you know anyone saying you have to give 28 no uh, eight days notice um you know he sees that as uh he's not doing that he's special why does he have to do it why does he have to do it well, because you're no longer uh, a working royal and you can't be trusted neither, you know. Uh, you wouldn't give him your house keys while you was away, would you? So, so why is Megan so happy? You know, what's what's going on there? Megan, why are you so happy uh, uh, about the security? What, so they can stage a uh, you know victim ship uh, uh, as well uh the three-way why is she so happy well probably i think she said to harry if you don't get this security uh, I, i'm leaving you know uh, i'm leaving you're the problem no harry's the problem you know uh harry uh you know is the problem no one would break in if it was just Meghan markle of course oh, honestly i've never had such a twaddle Okay, let's uh, ditch these cards for uh, set another set. We'll go for this one. Okay, what kind of... I've already shuffled them before I start, you know, so I shuffle them to death, don't you worry. I do a few testers cards, uh, I ask about my life, and if I get, oh yeah, it's all right, like it matches, you know, it's not always good, but it matches. So, uh, yeah, anyway, okay, uh, heartache, so a three way situation. This could be that, sh you know, something for her and the kids. What kind of pressure uh, has uh, Megan put on Harry regarding this security? That you've got to go uh, and go back uh, to the royal family you know uh looking at rejoining uh the the family of course as well uh you've got the uh high courts uh, of appeal so it's like well you have to do that before you do anything else well it could be great news for her so that she doesn't ever have to come here again Yeah, does uh, you know, does Megan actually want to come to the UK for the Invictus? Well, unfortunately, appeals take a little bit longer than the Invictus uh, game celebration of uh, ten years. You know, I think uh, if she did come, it's reckless. You know, uh, but the, you know, she's got it against her really because you're looking at an appeal and then they come over with the kids when they've told the appeal that they, Megan and the kids won't come. So if she did, it's another thing, isn't it, in the court papers uh, that they look at and just say, well, that one uh, uh, correct as well your circumstances have obviously changed harry you know uh you brought your wife and your kids they had a real good time apparently look i don't think that's going to happen but as a double-edged sword i know this megan wants to be the half of invictus not the heart uh the she's at the heart of it yeah but uh she wants to be in uh the invictus because if she doesn't go and Harry does well and all the celebrations and things improve and obviously the will and, you know, there's more show, less Megan, uh, more veterans. Then that means, you know, that shows the world that Harry is literally an Invictus, is better off without Megan. And that's one thing that will be going through her mind uh, as well. So... You know, it's reckless. You've made that judgment. You've made that statement. Uh, the world's made that statement. Harry made that statement, both on interview and in writing. Okay, so uh, this is a double, 
double, double, double. So the great news could be that, you know, uh, she can uh, remain busy with her projects. Uh, they definitely will want to look like uh, the victim, but nobody's feeling sorry for them. N not with the security. Uh, also, I think, uh, you know, uh, there's... She's uh, she's gearing up now. She's gearing up. The trappings of Harry are going. The money's drying up. No security. Uh, a massive uh, house to pay for. Uh, staff, two children. Uh, I know you say they don't exist, but, you know. Um, and then the, the press uh, and everything. I mean, they're going to skint themselves. So how does, uh, let's do a temperature check on their relationship and how they're feeling about each other. How is, uh, you know, how are we feeling about Megan, uh, you know, as a wife? He can't win. He can't do it, get it right. You've got the six of ones there. Um, you know, he can't win with her. Uh, everything he does, you know, uh, is not good. And she's not happy, you know. Uh, she's saying that the audience outside the world's not happy. Harry, we're always having to do things and stories and come up with stuff. And my pap walks, you know, you make me walk those uh, floors. Um, <laughs> you took the wrong path, love. Everything he does is not good enough, okay? And he's never going to win with her, neither, uh, you know. Uh, she's always has, has to be uh, right. I mean, it's not so much of a bad card, okay? So, uh, from his point of view, yeah, it's just like you can't win whatever you do. But you're definitely not going to win the appeal, neither. Okay, and how does uh, Megan see Harry as her husband? Yeah, she wants to leave, you know, she she wants uh, to, to leave, she wants him to leave, uh, but she wants to uh, leave as well. You see, the, their world just comes crashing down because they'll just be, uh, you know, normal with a bit of a title and that's it. Uh, they'll have to go to work, they'll have to do the chores, uh, you know, they'll have to pay the bills. Uh, they might have to get rid of some uh, staff and uh, Harry might actually have to get the lawnmower out, you know. Uh, but, yeah, so all those trappings, security, the royal title, uh, they've exhausted uh, everything. The only thing she's got in her is a book on Harry and that will make her millions. A divorce will make her millions. I, I know you say oh, she can't touch his inheritance and what have you. She, whatever she says she wants to be gagged, uh, they will give her. You know, uh, and it'll be uh, watertight. However, if Megan, uh, you know, has that s silly, silly belief that she's going to earn more money selling a book on Harry, uh, then um, what the royals would pay out to get rid, then she's, she's going to be wrong and she exposes everything for nothing, you know. So Harry's loss helps Megan, you know, it it's, uh, helps Megan. So what is a, uh, well, we know he feels uh, that, 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 right, okay. Has Harry asked his dad uh, for money uh, to pay for the security? Of course he has. Uh, of course he has, you know. He gets re real angry. Um, I've had before that Harry, uh, every now and again, and I think I saw it with C Camilla, that Harry seems to get pissed when he's out uh, with friends and then he'll nip outside, probably for a, a, a cig or a doofer. Uh, and then, um, a cig or a doofer, I don't know where that came from. I do fair. Uh, yeah, and then brings him. So, and then I don't know if he's getting through to his dad. Everybody says he ain't got a mobile, so yeah. But what about if he's leaving uh, angry messages uh, on a, a machine, you know, like a, an answer phone? But the answer phone is in a public place, it doesn't belong to anybody, if you know what I mean. So, it's probably in an office uh, setting.
How does uh, William feel about Harry uh, not winning? Uh, well, you get there. I think it's what two people were saying all along so that wouldn't be harry it might be the queen it might be uh charles uh, as well um but the lovers i'm getting commitment maybe that you know it's like a plan so you have to follow through at least uh, they'll get to know when harry is uh coming uh, and they'll have uh, enough time to make sure they're busy on that calendar day <laughs> I also think that he kind of sees because he does see that Harry is in love with Meghan. Okay, there's no doubt about that. That's what he sees. He sees that they're uh, apparently a couple in love. Um, but the other thing is, uh, as well, is like, well, you know, you're on your high horse all the time, Harry. She's uh, bedecked in gold. You know, you, you're getting the books, you're getting this, you're getting that. Uh, you knew this. This was the uh, agreement. And now all of a sudden, four or five years later, uh, you're moaning about it. Um, and, yeah, get on with it. Just get on with it. Why can't you just be uh, happy, uh, be together, but be happy uh, and stop bothering everybody? You know, the lovers, uh, to me, is kind of a, a partnership. So I also think that there is higher intelligence uh, than uh, just the Met Police. I mean, you have got the helmet there. Uh, but I also feel like either MI5, CIA, you, you know, uh, I do feel there's uh, information uh, gleaned. I see that the judge maybe knows things uh, a bit more. He's tried not to be biased and he's going through the books um but i think you know the royals uh have that source of information from different agencies maybe the judge doesn't have uh the information uh from different agencies but i certainly feel like uh you know collectively uh all over the world uh the royals uh, have some uh co connection with okay What does uh, Megan want most in the world? I think she wants to jump ship. I think she wants, uh, you know, uh, in and out. I think she wants a settlement, a budget, a big, 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 big budget. Um... I think that's political, actually, you know, I think because she, she wants to form an unlikely alliance with somebody. Uh, will we see Meghan uh, getting more politically involved? Absolutely, and it's quick as well. I've always said that, she's dangerous. Um yeah, she's going to go into a battle, so she she will run at some point uh, to be America's uh, oh, sweetheart, isn't it? Want the uh, story about that? Um, but yeah, she's uh, looking for you know, it's like where she can be uh, aggressive. She's maybe talking over somebody as well. Oh, and she's probably going to go into a debate, and she won't shut up. You know, she's one of them annoying people. Uh, when you ask somebody's opinion and then they start to give you it or tell you something and then you shut them down halfway through, you know, I find that rude. I absolutely do find that rude. In fact, it's infuriating. I can't stand it, especially when I see these uh, news producers on the, uh, uh, you know, interviewing people and then they go, no, well, it's not that and it's not that and it's not that. No, you're wrong there. You're wrong there. Uh, without letting them get through a sentence, I just think uh, it's unhealthy. Yeah. Okay, uh, you know, 
Uh, does Megan want to divorce Harry? Well, she's going to cry the victim, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I think I think so. I think so. I think it's all too much. So, what she left with, she hasn't got, has she? You know, uh, she she left with a free wardrobe, uh, a, a, an adoring uh, public. Uh, she could uh, jet off all over. Uh, she had access. Uh, she had a forty million uh, wedding. So that in her head, she'll say, well, I got 40, uh, 40 million uh, wedding. I want a 100 million uh, divorce. Yeah, I think as things get harder and harder, uh, she will start to see uh, Harry uh, as uh, more of a nuisance uh, than anything else. It's just a, a change. You see this in relationships all, all the time. You have nothing, you build a life together and then things start going wrong uh, and then the other party uh, is not satisfied and, you know, can't deal with it uh, and leaves. Victim, victim. She's, you know, going to make out she's got too much responsibility. Well, yeah, two kids, six nannies, uh, what is it, five dogs, the sugars... <laughs> Uh, YouTube, uh, social media, Archwell, uh, uh, charities, Invictus, uh, all the books, all the pap walks. Yeah, you've got a lot on love. Yeah, you have. Um, <coughs> so I feel that like after one thing, after one thing, after one thing, as, as the lose uh, stuff. So, you know, when Netflix goes and Spotify and Hulu. Uh, and everybody else, you know, uh, it'll just be one thing after another and in the end she won't be able to take it uh, And she'll feel like she's carrying Harry uh, Yeah, she will. She'll feel like she's carrying Harry So they have got some tough times coming up out of the next uh, 10 weeks uh, to say the least um, And it's funny, you know, when somebody goes to the top and they start going down How other people jump in on their back and that's how I feel as well what's going to happen I've just seen uh, two stag deer there with beautiful uh, horns okay I don't know if you can see it you might just want to adjust your screen um, and and this you know it's like they've waited patiently for this and they're like look at him you could have been doing it a different way which is exactly the point with Megan you could have done it a different way you could have gone about it all all different but instead you have chosen uh, this path that you're not supposed to be on and you're going to be uh, you know you'll be pay paying for it literally okay then uh, so what's next uh, for Harry in the newspapers next Well, we already know that he's going to appeal, you know, and submit an appeal. You can, unless he's got any other new evidence, okay, that appeal will stand. Um, now he's going to come out uh, and do something. It's like a, a an explosion, but it comes as no surprise to us, you know. It's like, oh, yeah, you just knew they'd do something like that. Uh, they'd do something like that. So, and start finding little hit pieces uh, as well coming out um, because he's angry. He thought being a prince would, you know, uh, go for him. Being a duke would uh, go for him. I don't know. Oh, it uh, surprises me that, you know, Meghan wants to be a princess, but in the court, they said that was too informal to call him Prince Harry. Uh, so they should uh, call him the Duke, what is it, Duke of Sussex. Um, and yeah, so I just feel like maybe he thought that, you know. I uh, thought that by addressing uh, Harry's name, you know, the right way. Oh, can you imagine, you know, in a, the, a fag break? Oh, Harry, he just said, uh, you know, uh, the, that's going well for us. He wants to, it says it's too informal uh, for Prince uh, Harry. We're going to call you Duke uh, of Sussex or the Duke in the end. Uh, and Harry would have loved that. He thought he had a meeting out of his uh, hands, you know. Oh, shame, shame, shame. 
shame 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 on you harry you know uh not about your situation uh you've got all those millions you know stop being greedy stop being uh greedy we don't want you to be powerful we should be uh ceasing your income uh because you're getting uh mixed up in nefarious deeds you know the aspen institute the censorship uh you know uh, and all stuff like that you know we we don't need you thank you we don't need you in those uh kind of things I think his name only anyway. Can you imagine anyone taking notice of him? He's got a very young, immature mind. He is immature, definitely immature. And it was probably as well, William, feeling that, you know, he had to uh, be uh, mum and dad to Harry at times uh, as well. You know, that's why William is mature. It, it wasn't just off the shelf and in his genetics. He was nurtured uh, that way. Uh, and so he took responsibility uh, for Harry at times and Harry just didn't do any, you know, didn't his skull didn't do well, didn't do well at all, uh, you know, in the army he was carried. Harry can't, well, he just doesn't measure himself right, does he, you know, uh, he doesn't. Okay, guys, uh, that's it from me. I just thought I'd do that and... Uh, uh, get one video up i have been real tired this week uh, unfortunately i've had a lot on going with my mum uh, she's stopped eating uh, n refusing medication so oh it's uh, all, all been going on but she's all right she's all right and i'm all right i'm gonna go see her tomorrow uh, as well take her some shopping um she only eats the stuff i buy so <laughs> but you know that that's been like it for about four years so uh no surprise there anyway okay guys i uh, hope you've enjoyed this i'll be back soon with another reading bye now bye bye <laughs>